There have been many unique whitetail bucks throughout our history, and this story of flyers is one without exception. Uncle Terry guides us as we relive one of his best whitetail tales. I'm Taylor Drury, and this is a throwback edition of DoD TV. This segment of DoD TV is brought to you by Rage Broadheads, leading the evolution in lethal technology. Got one or two deer in mind this evening. Splits. It's got forks on both G2s. And another one, uh, I call him Flyer, because he's got he's got two little flyers off of his uh, left G2 and one flyer off the other G2. Mm. This wind is absolutely perfect. I've got about five or six sets, really, really good sets, and I mean some of the best. For northeast winds, because you just, it's one of those winds you rarely, rarely get. And that's what we got here this evening. Hardly they walk down this road. We'll see what happens. Like any other September evening, it starts off a little slow. You see a few does and a couple year and a half old bucks and some smaller deer. Uh, and then what would happen to pop out? but this little doe comes squirting through, and then all of a sudden I look up and I see this big wall of antlers coming out from behind the brush. I just got off the phone, we watched the footage, and uh, I'm still not happy with the shot. It was, it's, I've made some bad shots, but that's the worst one I think I've ever made. And uh, I just talk, I talked to Mark, got off the phone with him. He's turned and he's coming this way. It'll be a couple hours till he gets here, but I am tickled to death that he's coming up because he's got better eyeballs than I do. We're gonna be looking for blood tomorrow morning. This literally has been one of those hands and knee type track jobs. You know, with my eyes, which are bad, I'm having a really, really tough time seeing blood. We let him lay overnight, so if we find him, it's attributable to number one, a fast bow, and number two, the rage broadhead. If we don't find him, um, it's just another one to chalk up to experience. Terrible, terrible judgment call. I can smell bile like sewer. I can, I've been catching hints of that. I don't, I don't know, once in a while, you get lucky. I'm just down to just drips ever so slightly, but I keep catching wits. Look here, look, right here. Where? Yeah. What a big giant. <laughs> For anyone that's ever followed our video series of television shows knows that I've, I've had my problems throughout time with uh, these big deer. But every once in a while, life is full of highs and lows and I am on an absolute all-time high right now because I put an errant shot, a terrible shot on this particular animal. Bad judgment call, you know, when you get a big deer in on you and you're flustered trying to get him to stop, he wouldn't stop. I punched the trigger anyway, hit him way back, but the combination of a Rage Broadhead and a fast shooting PSE was the only reason that I recovered this animal, that deadly combination. Uh, just got in the back of his ham and it exited actually almost halfway in his body here. He was quartering away enough that the uh, 
arrow poke through the other side here and right about midways. It was a long and arduous track job, one of those where we were just finding speck, speck, speck. So I'm assuming that internally there's a lot of blood inside here. I know he smells. It literally followed my nose, if you can believe that. Uh, but we could smell him just coming down the hill here, and he is an absolute giant. You know, and there's always a decision-making process that you go through. We have the luxury to review the footage over and over on video. And with that particular hit, there was no question that I was going to wait overnight and try and recover him this morning. And that's exactly what we did. Uh, he really didn't go. I can almost see the tree stand, if you can believe that. But he made kind of a loop and went probably 150 to 160 yards, something like that. But uh, as luck would have it, he was found him right here where he was laying in his bed. Uh, just happened to get extremely lucky. Yeah. What character this particular buck has, he's got stickers all over. I nicknamed this deer Flyers because I had so many photos, but he's got one, two, three, four. He's got four flyers that are just kind of abnormal points. And uh, his mass is just incredible. It runs all the way throughout. And uh, he's just a, a phenomenal deer, gonna make a beautiful mount. Can't wait to take him to a taxidermist and uh, get him hung on a wall. This is a beautiful, beautiful deer. I'm extremely, extremely lucky to recover this animal. new videos every week so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content this episode of dod tv was brought to you by mossy oak